Hello everyone, WolfyCast here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and show you exactly what their abilities do. Level 1, no upgrades, no talents, nothing special. Just as they come, jumping right into the game. This time we have Oru. Oru is a ranged damage dealer with the tag Caster. So like other casters, uh, his abilities have high impact, high value, and kind of utilized in his damage or utility potential. Uh, for Oru, his abilities are all kind of about stacking together multiple debuffs and then using his E to reveal them for other devastating effects. But before we get into the at, let's go with, over his stats. Oru has 2000 health, which is bulkier than average, and then 15 armor, which is on par with other lightly armored heroes. So a little healthier, but still about as squishy in terms of, ar uh, of armor. But let's go into his left mouse button, which is called Judgment. It throws cards at a range, uh, do 90 damage on impact, and then apply Judgment. Now, judgment is a its a own unique debuff, which basically, uh, so long as they have the card, they are under the Judgment effect, and that'll tie in with his E when we get to it. Uh, but while they have Judgment, they are also burning for 3 seconds, which applies a 30 damage per second debuff. It looks like this. Now, these missiles also have a little bit of homing, just like Mozu, which was in the last video. Uh, so... You're kind of, so long as they're vaguely in the crosshair and so long as you're in range of the homing to be active, you're going to do damage. Now these, unlike Mozu, they do not travel as far as Mozu's attacks. And the homing is, the homing is just about as far, uh, like as far as the range. Like from there, not really, but from here, from about here, I'm, I'm homing. Moving on to the right mouse button, which is called the Beast. You throw a spread of three cards that deal damage on impact and then apply the Beast, which is its own unique debuff, uh, just like Judgment, uh, that lasts for three seconds and kind of shows a purple card on the person that you hit. Uh, but the Beast also, or this ability also applies a major slow to enemies, which is a 40% movement speed reduction. And uh, it looks like this. The cards get thrown pretty spar. You see there's a generally, a generally tight spread. Uh, but if they're revealed, or sorry, if they're hit, they take that damage and they get that purple card on them and then they are slowed. And this ability, this ability does not pierce, but each card has its own unique uh, damage source. So if you're pretty close range, you can actually hit all three on the same person. And it'll do more damage. Obviously the, you know, obviously the debuffs will not last longer because it's technically the same debuff. It's not like, you know, it's not like if you hit all three on the same person, it's a nine second slow. Uh, and the cards travel pretty far. And the spread, the spread is enough that you can hit, uh, you can hit the Motiga and Gnosis there. If I was just a little better uh, at, at using it, I was a, uh, I used it a little late because he started walking away. But there you go. You can apply this uh, on one person and another person, and you'll you can apply up to three uh, targets because again, it doesn't pierce, but each one will impact somebody if they're in range. Next, we're actually going to jump over to the E because it ties directly to the left and right mouse buttons. The E is called Cosmic Power. You cast a Cosmic uh, spell in the target area that reveals cards. It deals damage uh, in the space to everyone that's in there. And if a target has, if a target in the space has the Judgment card, they are dealt an additional 250 damage. Or if they have the Beast card, they are given a daze that lasts for one second. So it looks like this. So the ability has a pretty good range, pretty good space. And if you use it without any, if, if you use it without any card on them, it will just do damage on its own. But it's pretty meh however if they have cards on them judgment came from the lmb which does more damage when it's revealed and the right mouse button if the beast is revealed it will daze them and these cards will affect like this ability will affect everyone that has cards and will reveal both cards so you don't you're you don't have to worry about only one at a time so if i throw if i throw a left mouse button and he has that orange card and i throw a right mouse button and then cosmic uh cosmic cosmic power sorry You'll see that uh, he did dam he took the damage and he got dazed all together. Just to show that the cards will be revealed to everyone that's in the space, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to wait till they get a little bit closer and throw my two cards and reveal. You see they both took damage because they both got revealed the judgment card. And this will be, you know, this will be for everyone that's applied a judgment card, everyone that's applied the beast card. Uh, they'll all be revealed in one cosmic omen cast so long as they have a card and they're in the space. Or his last basic ability, his Q, is called the Joker. On activation, you drop three trap cards that will uh, arm after a short delay. 
The traps will remain active for up to 8 seconds, and on trigger, when an enemy walks over them, they will be dealt 150 damage, and they will be pushed away from the center of the card, whichever direction that they're coming in from. Now, uh, this ability is another one of those cases where it shows that it says that it interrupts. It does not actually apply the interrupt condition. The only thing this would actually interrupt is if the enemy is doing something that requires them to stand still. So... Keep that in mind. Also, something that the uh, description does not say, the cards, only one person can trigger one card. So once that card is triggered, it will be expended. And a person can only take damage and trigger a card once per activation. So even if an enemy, even if an enemy walks over all three traps, they're only actually going to activate one because the spell detects that that person has already revealed a card. But anyway, it looks like this. Now the cast is very short range. It'll just kind of show a circle in front of you. And this is where the middle card will place. So it'll be one. It, it's, it kind of sh does this line. So when you're holding it down, it is the middle card is in front of you. And then there'll be one on the left and one on the right. And it looks like this. If I put it down, you'll see he gets kind of pushed away from the center. And you, you see, as I'm proving right here, he's walking over the other two traps. He's not taking damage. He's not triggering them because he's already triggered the card. And so, uh, you know, even if you put it on an enemy that's right in front of you, there is a little bit of a delay before the card actually triggers. And the, the push is actually really far, especially if they're not moving. <laughs> so it's, it's really fun. Uh, but it's very good. Uh, very good self defense kind of self peel blocking spaces blocking choke points because uh you know you put it up here that area can't be passed also these these uh these traps are also really tall for some reason like you can't actually even jump over these things even though it looks like you should and that's that's not something i can prove here unfortunately but you'll you'll kind of notice it in game if you play against an oru like you'll try to jump over the traps and then they'll activate anyway because they they have really tall invisible pillars for whatever reason all right and last but not least oru's focus is called death dealer jumps and hovers for up to four seconds in the air while throwing death cards rapidly each death card will deal a small amount of damage on impact and applies death which will be revealed uh, when the focus ends. And on death reveal, deals 200 damage. On death reveal, if they are below 50% health, for those that get revealed, uh, will deal increased damage based on your focus points. So the, uh, the kind of execute threshold is at 50%. The rank 1 damage does an additional 400 damage. The rank 2 does an additional 600 damage. And then the rank 3 does an additional 1,000 damage. Now... Something to something to clear up here. It's not 200 damage, and if they're below 50% health, it's an extra 400. It changes the damage from 200 to that second level interval. It's it's not it's not additive. It is it it changes from the base 200 to whatever the higher rank uh, whatever the higher number is based on the rank of the focus. And so you'll see that the one motigo over there is lower, and Nasus is not. And I'm gonna do that. I did that specifically to show that it, it'll do less damage but you use it jump high in the air you rapidly throw cards that do a little bit of impact damage and then you'll sell that Nasus took way less damage than motiga did because the motiga was under that 50 percent health threshold it's a very uh fast ability and it's super fun an important thing to keep in mind as well so long as you hit at least one card on an enemy they will have the death card on them it does not matter if you hit it, it does not matter if you hit every card on the same person. It does not matter if you hit only one card on a person. So long as you hit at least one card, that person will be have the death card and they will have that bonus damage when the ability ends. Another thing about the focus that I noticed actually while recording this video is that the first card, the first death card on a target will deal a flat amount of damage and every consecutive card on the same person actually will deal significantly less damage. Uh, so something to keep in mind, you're not going to more often than not, you're not going to be able to use this to have someone that's like at 75 percent health. And then you're trying to fish them into that lower health threshold. It's not really going to work that well for you. Uh, so just to remember, it's just something to remember. But that is all for Oru. That is his kit. So if you enjoyed watching, please make sure to leave a like if you learned something. Uh, well, 
let your let other people know. Share the video. Leave a comment if you so wish. I do read comments and I do enjoy talking to you guys. But that is uh, that is everything. Have a good day and I will see you guys on the next one.